Hello world, let's keep this simple. Here's what I'm breaking down for you. First is the checklist, like the actual, I'm talking the actual geometry and trigonometry topics that you're gonna need to know, as well as all the formulas, theorems, all that fun crap, okay? Next is what you'll need to study, like the effective study resources that worked for me and that I know will work for you. And then lastly, a plan. You're not doing this alone, I'm right here with you. Let's get right to it. First, my curated checklist. It's easy to understand, it's cohesive, I'm done selling you, here it is. I've divided it into three categories depending on your target score. First is the, I'm shooting for a 1200. I just need that score, Woo! Then there's the 13 to 1400 people, like, yes. And then lastly, for those who are like, my parents will kill me if I don't get a 1500 plus, I have a section for you as well. Let's get right to it. For my 12 honeys, first is the basic geometry skills. You need to be able to calculate the perimeter and area of rectangles, squares, triangles, and circles. Most of these formulas can be found right on your reference sheet given to you on test day. If they're not on there, make sure you have them drilled and your brain memorized. If you need a fun way to memorize formulas, okay, the area of a circle. I'm thinking about pi right now, okay? So pi r squared. Pi, I'm ravenous, S-A-T word by the way, that means you're hungry. Pi r squared, you go back for seconds. Circumference of a circle, two pies. I am running to the refrigerator. All right, two times pi times your radius. Next is to be able to identify and understand complementary, supplementary, and vertical angles. You also wanna make sure that you're able to apply the Pythagorean theorem to find missing sides in right triangles. Next is coordinate geometry. You need to be able to plot and interpret graphs on the coordinate plane. I get it, whenever you walk into the test, you're gonna see all these numbers, you're gonna just start plugging around things on Desmos, and that's great. Desmos can be a great visual guide, but do not rely on it for geometry. You'll also wanna make sure you have the distance formula memorized to find the distance between two points. And then lastly, you wanna be able to find the midpoint of a line segment. For my 13 honeys and 14 honeys, okay? First is advanced geometry concepts. Make sure you can calculate the area and perimeters of parallelograms, trapezoids, and regular polygons. Are these even included on the reference sheet? Probably not. Next is work with circles. You need to be able to work with these things. Find the arc length of something. Find the sector area of something. You need to be able to calculate these things. You also sometimes need to be able to solve problems involving chords, tangents, and inscribed angles. A lot of these things can be learned in less than 10 minutes. Just saying. Next is solid geometry. I'm talking being able to calculate the surface area and volume of cylinders, cones, spheres, and prisms. You need to also be able to understand cross sections of three dimensional shapes. Lastly is trigonometry. If I'm losing you, I get it. I have this checklist also linked down below in the description. No need to fill out any email, whatever list things. It's literally just the Google Doc. I've already shared it with you. Lastly are the trigonometry basics. You need to be able to define and apply trigonometric ratios like sine, cosine, tangent, and then also be able to solve right triangle problems using those ratios. The Sokotoa. That's, that's all I'm talking about with that. Lastly, for my 15 honeys, you're gonna need to know advanced trigonometry. I'm talking the being able to use the law of sines, the law of cosines, being able to understand and apply basic trigonometric identities. Next is your complex geometric applications. Thank you. Thank you so much, College Board, I love you. I'm talking being able to solve problems involving circles with inscribed and circumscribed polygons. Has anyone got a question like circumscribed? Next is being able to apply transformations, translations, rotations, reflections, and dilations. Okay, let me just say, if this checklist is overwhelming you, I mean, yes, it's linked down below. If this checklist is freaking you out, please just know that it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. I'm literally just covering everything that could possibly be thrown at you. I have to remember that the geometry section is the smallest math section, so, you know. It's the one we don't remember, like, anything about. This is just the checklist. Again, if you need it, it's there. 
let's continue. You also need to be able to write and use the equation of a circle in the coordinate plane. All right, everyone, star this. I'm not even kidding, star this. I sound like, I sound like a teacher, but at this point I am, okay? You have to be able to use and apply the equation of the circle. Know the formula, literally go, let it be your eyes. It's like the number one thing that College Board loves, okay? So know it like, I'm not gonna say the back of your hand, just know it, period, okay? Save yourself, save yourself. And then the last thing is analytical geometry. You need to be able to solve problems involving intersections of geometric shapes on the coordinate plane, as well as being able to analyze and interpret graphs of geometric relationships. All right, that was a lot of material. Next, what you'll need to study first is to check my description. I like to keep my things current, so all of my updated SAT resources are linked down below. Second, do yourself a favor and get brilliant. Learning does not always need to be associated with boo, boring, not interested. You know, it can actually be a lot of fun, especially when you use brilliant. If math has always felt like a struggle, Brilliant's foundational math course can change that. This course breaks down the basics into easy to understand interactive lessons that just make math click. Instead of feeling just completely lost, you'll start to see how the pieces fit together so you're turning your frustration into actual confidence. So if you'd like to give Brilliant a try, which you absolutely should, then do make sure to click the link down below in my description to receive a free 30-day trial to Brilliant's premium package. And you know, because you're one of my viewers, thank you for watching by the way, you will also also receive a 20% discount to Brilliant's premium package. Thank you so much to Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Definitely make sure to go and get your subscription today.